there's definitely no turning back now. The James Webb Space Telescope has found a primordial galaxy as old as the universe. This discovery heralds the definitive end of the old astrophysics and cosmology. We are at the beginning of a completely new natural science that will change the foundations of our physics forever. If the new figures are correct, this galaxy is far older than the universe, and this means that our previous understanding of space and time must be completely reconsidered. But are we really ready to rewrite the history of the cosmos and expand the boundaries of our knowledge? The advancements in science today are truly astonishing. A groundbreaking telescope is unveiling images of galaxies so ancient that they surpass anything witnessed before. The James Webb Space Telescope's reach is revealing the earliest galaxies to emerge after the Big Bang. Yet, these galaxies appear so evolved that, theoretically, their formation predates the Big Bang. This poses a conundrum since either the universe began precisely 13.8 billion years ago, or there was simply nothing prior, or perhaps the Big Bang didn't occur. These options currently offer the only explanations for the existence of these primordial galaxies. But then, what about the universe's origin? Since NASA released Webb's inaugural deep image, one headline after another has surfaced. Initially, the team led by the young Harvard astronomer Rohan Naidu uncovered the galaxy Glassy 13 boasting a redshift of roughly 13, existing approximately 300 million years post-Big Bang. Glass, short for Grissom Lens Amplified Survey from Space, spearheads this international astronomy endeavor in quest of the universe's oldest galaxies, initially leveraging gravitational lensing and now capitalizing on the JWST's latest imagery. While data from this ancient galaxy initially sparked skepticism among the global research community, substantial measurement errors have been largely dismissed. Glass Z13 undeniably thrived 13.4 billion light years ago, emerging as one of the most luminous galaxies identified in the universe's infancy, showcasing vigorous star formation. It potentially harbors numerous young, massive stars, constituting the population the three stellar group. The universe's inaugural stars, colossal, exceedingly radiant, yet ephemeral, Webb's distinctive spectrometer empowers the breakdown of even the faintest light signals into individual frequencies, facilitating the analysis of the metallicity of these exceedingly remote galaxies. This unveiling revealed an intriguing anomaly. The spectrometer assessments unveiled a low metallicity in glass Z13, indicating a scarcity of heavy elements, thus signifying its youthful nature. Paradoxically, despite its youthful attributes, this galaxy exhibits remarkable structural complexity and stunning luminosity. Per conventional galaxy evolution models, it should be billions of years old suggesting its formation predates the Big Bang. This anomaly gains further credence as subsequent discoveries corroborate the trend. Following Glass Z13, Macy's galaxy emerged, boasting an even more ancient origin. Astronomer Stephen Finkelstein stumbled upon it on his daughter Macy's birthday, presenting her with this extraordinary discovery as a gift. The staggering antiquity of this galaxy has been unequivocally verified through rigorous testing methodologies, confirming its existence roughly 300 or conceivably even 270 million light years post Big Bang. Much like Glass Z13, Macy's galaxy exhibits telltale signs of robust star formation and light metal content, indicating a youthful and dynamically active celestial entity. Yet, its remarkable level of organization suggests a genesis preceding the Big Bang. At the juncture 300 million years post-Big Bang, space likely twinkled solely with the illumination of primordial stars. Theoretical constructs propose the plausibility of loose star clusters and nascent proto-galaxies. However, 
Galaxies harboring hundreds of thousands or millions of stars at this juncture defy conventional astrophysical models. Finkelstein and his team have unearthed numerous additional galaxy candidates. Confirming the existence of at least 10 more ancient galaxies, Finkelstein suggested in an interview that the initial deep field image likely captures hundreds of such galaxies. However, definitive confirmation of all these discoveries may require some time. Shortly thereafter, the Webb telescope embarked on follow-up observations, with the second deep field image once again challenging prevailing notions about the early universe. Alternatively, did stellar and galactic evolution unfold at an accelerated pace or follow entirely divergent trajectories from conventional models? While myriad possibilities abound, any new hypothesis must reconcile with the bedrock principles of astrophysics. Many experts speculate that the crux of the matter lies in reconciling these novel findings with established physics, raising the unsettling prospect that our understanding of the cosmos may rest on faulty premises. The detection of three potential dark stars, hailing from the universe's earliest epoch, marks a watershed moment in astronomy. This discovery is particularly notable as it represents the inaugural evidence of the existence of these enigmatic entities. Identified by their distinctive radiation signatures, diverging from the known traits of conventional stars, these dark stars stand as theoretical constructs long envisaged by astrophysicists but hitherto eluding empirical observation. Fundamentally distinct from their conventional counterparts, dark stars derive their energy not from nuclear fusion but from the decay of dark matter, a theoretical concept posited over 15 years ago. These entities are believed to have flourished in the universe's nascent stages, approximately 300 million years post-Big Bang. Dark matter, constituting about 27% of the universe's mass, remains imperceptible to direct observation, manifesting solely through gravitational interactions with visible matter. The confirmation of dark stars not only substantiates the existence of dark matter, but also promises deeper insights into its properties, thus illuminating one of the universe's fundamental building blocks. Dark stars, distinguished by their immense size and luminosity compared to conventional stars of similar age, shine up to 10,000 times brighter and possess significantly greater mass. Their potential pivotal role in the reionization and broader cosmic evolution cannot be overstated. As potential heralds of light emerging from the cosmos' dark ages, dark stars might have exerted an unprecedented influence on galaxy formation, offering a tantalizing avenue for unraveling the mysteries posed by the Webb Telescope's perplexing galactic discoveries. Should this premise hold true, Peering back to the universe's inception might forever elude us, thwarted by the inherent limitations of our technological prowess. Yet, amidst this uncertainty lies an opportunity, a final quest to unravel the universe's genesis and functioning. The pursuit of a unified field formula often colloquially dubbed the God Formula, stands as humanity's ultimate endeavor to comprehend all phenomena and forces in the cosmos. For more insights and future video highlights, click subscribe now to join our community.